Throwing some garbage away and I see this lift here. There we go, leaving it better than I found it. Just walking through here and thinking about leaving it better than I found it and I see a couple uh, bolts here, but there might be more than a couple. Just following through putting this back after uh, doing the magnetic sweeping before I do my final video, but I realize we don't really have a spot for this. This area is nice and empty. Okay, a spot for the magnetic sweeper with blue dots for the same as all the brooms in here. And I went over this area here with the magnetic sweeper. Leaving it better than I found it. Doug had the, uh, the idea here, he wants to dress up our area in front of our demonstration panels. We're uh, starting by tidying it up and then we're gonna bring some material in and uh, make it look all nice and presentable. Okay, so the fencing crews here are just uh, finishing up, dressing up our fence display area. We've got landscape ties, landscape cloth, and uh, walkway gravel down to dress the area up and hopefully minimize the amount of weeds we have to pull in the future here. Looking good, guys. Just a few bits and pieces by the front gate. There we go, leaving it better than I found it. So at some point this saw was dropped and broke and the guard was bent and sticking real bad, which is real unsafe. So I took 10 minutes to take it apart, bend the guard back and clean out the, clean out the spinner. So now the guard works and it should be a lot safer. Something I did today, I labeled the package slips where to restock from the lean cave and where they are in the lean cave. Now let's go over there and have a look. There we go, the gray rack, the bottom shelf, there they are, package slips, uh, labels, you can clearly see it when you're standing. I also had to make a Kanban card for them, which I did right there. Um, it's just written out by hand right now because that's what you do. You grab a blank card from the stairwell, you just write it out by hand, and then when it gets triggered uh, and goes over to the office, a uh, new laminated one gets made. Awesome. Just a quick little video about how to help clean up the bathroom. These uh, pads for the Swiffer are sometimes pretty dry and they don't really do too good. So uh, you just spray it with some of the scrubbing bubbles cleaner and it'll get a little bit more wet to get a little bit more scrub. That's all. Randy doing a great 3S. Steve Fulcher improving his improvement. That way the sticks don't blow all over the place. Here's Sandy's improvement before we had our troubleshooting and maintenance guide in behind the shelf and it was really dirty and she laminated them and we put them on magnets so they're right uh, where they need to be read, right on the control panel. Nicely done. So this is the carpentry shop of and um, we've been working on some big projects lately and uh, we've got some leftovers that we were kind of holding on to in case we needed them. But we've got the structure standing now and I don't think we're going to need these anymore. And we just got some wood laying around. So uh, we're going to dusty that all up. We're going to dusty it right up. As you can see, we got the excess wood taken out of here. Uh, kind of reset. You know, it's funny. Some days you got to fight for a sawhorse. And then some days you just got to fight sawhorses. Uh, uh, yeah, it's all swept up. All the excess wood is out of here and uh, we're good to go. Time to level out the panel wrap situation. All right, there you have it. A few scoops and a little bit of raking. Now the panel rack won't flip over on me. So I just came over here. I've been working in the spray, spray booth today. I just came over here and I just noticed a few things. Uh, there's some garbage left here and a bottom board left here. And since we're doing uh, Leave It Better Than You Found It, I'm going to tidy that stuff up. So we got the sprinkler uh, sprinkling water all over our fence panel building area. 
and uh, these need to get stained. I think it was Steve and Randy that did this improvement by putting up some rain blocking boards. Steve Fulton needed to use the skid steer and he left it better than he found it, cleaning out the tracks when he was finished. Luke improving the truck tool storage, doing some standardization, looking awesome. All right, so yesterday I made a mistake. I packaged this wonderful lift of clear one by four TNG at six feet long, and I forgot to put the bottom boards in. I also didn't label it, so two mistakes. So Steve came up with the idea, instead of you know putting the bottom boards underneath, we'll just put up a pallet underneath. We can use up one of our extra pallets, and we don't have to reband, retarp, re nothing. All right, so let's see how that works. All right, so here is the finished product on a pallet with a little bit of dunnage underneath this so I can get my forks out. Thank you very much, Stu. And uh, the customer's label, their name and label on there. And uh, that took five minutes instead of 20. So there's this extra wood here from uh, sheeting the, the welding room wall. I'm just going to add that to the... The, the rest of the plywood around the corner. There it is, all nice and tidy again. So I'm just at the day woo here, and uh, it's just looking a tad much here. We've got some rags, we've got some straps, some chains, some wood. We're, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna fix that. There we go, we got rid of the rags and the wood and all the garbage that was on here kept the tail chain because that's there for safety and uh yeah leave it better than you found it sandy doing some standardization in the office for our visa receipts with the different colors for each department these colors match other standardized things for each department in the office there's been this two by four jammed between the motor and the drill press which keeps tension on the belts uh, almost since we've gotten it and it's always really bugged me. So I was like, okay, let's actually figure this out. And there was just a couple loose uh, screws. So I tightened up the screws and wherever you ask the question, the answer should be. Uh, the manufacturer should have done this because it was not clear and this drill press was a couple thousand dollars. It's a great drill press and now we can use it properly. Three essing under the stairs and I found some ready rod in that red bin. It's a pretty big bin and some wheels. Put the wheels in the lean cave, which is a spot for improvements. Made a spot for the ready rod in the lean cave as well, much better place for it. Put some wheels on the red bin that the ready rod was in, and now we have a great uh, cart for the plasma cutter. Everything right where we need it.